All right, Shalom. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Kakwadash. Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai been the name of his beloved Son who, who the world anyway calls Jesus Christ. That's their true names in the last one, Kodash, the ancient Hebrew. The only names you call upon for salvation if you're an Israelite. The Israelites mean so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans today. <clears throat> as well as the Israelite foreigners that have taken on the appearance of the heathen. Double honor to the apostles, bishops, and elders of great millstone and blessings and salutations to the Lord's elect. I'm back with another lesson through the spirit and prophet Yahweh by Shema Shai, another spiritual lunch. And uh, I think I'm going to title this one. Um, we're only guilty of serving our God. Okay, we're only guilty of serving our God, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and um, <clears throat> this uh, this lesson was inspired uh, through the spirit of Papi Yahweh by Shemal Shai um, by these lyrics uh, to this song right here, Lauren Hill, so much things to say, which you know is her rendition of uh, a Bob Marley song uh, titled the same title, right? So so many things to say, so much things to say. It's a, originally a Bob Marley song, all right, but she did her own. A version of it uh, over acoustics during her unplugged performance <clears throat> going back to the early 2000s, okay? And uh, I'm going to play some of it. Right here I have the acapella. Let me just play a little bit of it. I and I don't come to fight flesh and blood but spiritual wickedness in high and low places. And though you fight me down, I'll stand firm and give Jah all the thanks and praises. I don't expect to be justified by these laws of man. Though the wicked find me guilty, Jah will prove my innocence here right she said though that the the um let me get the lyrics <clears throat> so that's what inspired this lesson um right here she says i don't expect to be justified by these laws of men by by the laws of man though they they will though they find me guilty it says Jah, but we know the, the the Heavenly Father's name is not Jah. Okay, it's not it's not um Jehovah. It's none of that. Okay, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, Yahweh. All right. So it says though we though he, they find me guilty, Yahweh will prove my innocency. Okay, and those are some strong lyrics. Okay, <clears throat> this is her. Like I said, this is her unplugged album. You know, I listen to it, you know, uh, from time to time. Um, if you're into Lauryn Hill, you'll, you'll, you'll for surely like, you know, this, if you haven't heard it. But you can also find the acapella version on YouTube. All right. But nonetheless, the lyrics, she says, uh, though they find me guilty, you know, basically the Lord will prove my innocency. All right. Because when Esau begins to push out here, when he begins to push that, that MOTB and other unrighteous decrees, mainly that that mark though, that's the main, you know, uh, prophecy that we're we're waiting upon. <clears throat> you know, he's gonna um, so-called find us guilty, right? Because if you're not if you don't have that mark, then uh, you're gonna be outcasted. All right, he's gonna persecute the ones that don't take that, <clears throat> which you know. <clears throat> the scriptures say the Lord has reserved. Let me grab it. Uh, Romans seven. No, what is it? Romans eleven and four. It says, or three. It says, Lord, they have killed thy prophets, and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. Going back to Elijah. But what said the answer of the Most High to him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men. Uh, seven represent completion 
who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal, right? Who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. All right, and this time we're not bowing our knee to Esau Edom and his, his, his society. You know, we're not taking that mark. We're not uh, with his way. We're not with his system. Okay, we're only to serve Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Okay, and that's it. So the Lord has, let me read it again. It says, but what said the answer of the Most High to him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the, to the image of Baal. <clears throat> Even so, then at this present time, also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace, right? So the election, all right, is not going to play Esau's game. All right, we don't fear you devils. Okay, and Lord's will, Yahweh Bashim Shai keeps that spirit on us, you know, uh, all the way to, you know, we get up out of here, man. All right, because it's all about enduring these times, man. You know, enduring the day-to-day -day and, and enduring the final test, which that's going to be the implementation of that mark, the hour of temptation. Okay, but just like our, our great forefathers, all right, um, we're going to trust in Yahweh by Shemal Shai. You know, I want to bounce around. Well, really, I don't, have, I don't need to bounce around. But we're going to trust in Yahweh by Shemal Shai, Okay. We fear the Lord, so we don't have to fear you devils, man. The Lord told us not to fear you. That could only touch, you know, the body, basically. This is Luke 4 and 8. It says, And how I answered and said unto him, get thee, uh, get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, and him only shalt thou serve. Okay, so we're only serving Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Uh, we're not trusting in you. We're not trusting in your world. We're not trusting in your mark. You can take that mark and stick it up your ass, all right? <clears throat> so just like the Lord delivered our forefathers in their time of, uh, in their darkest hour, all right, that's our expectation, that's our hope, that our power, Yahweh Bashmah Shai, will, um, you know, deliver us. So I was going to bounce around between the, 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 the account of, King, uh, of Daniel and the account of the three holy children, but, you know, just for time's sake, I think I'm just going to run through this uh, Daniel 6 chapter where, uh, you know, Daniel was uh, persecuted, okay, and tried, all right, and then, you know, of course, delivered, all right, so this is Daniel 6, <clears throat> all right, because he was found to be innocent, that's the whole point of it. All right, because we might be guilty in the sight of Esau Edom, but for not taking that mark, for not playing their game, for not abiding by their so-called laws, right? Which we 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 follow your laws to a certain extent, but when once you start pushing things that are against our God, like that mark, all right, well, that's where we draw the line. We're not doing that. We're not we're not taking that. Okay, but so we might be guilty in your eyes. But we're innocent in the power of, in the, I mean, in the sight of our God, Yahweh Bashmah Shai. Okay, this is Daniel six and one. It says it pleased Darius to set over the kingdom, a hundred and twenty princes, which should be over the whole kingdom, and and you know I'm, uh, this is a very special account. You know this is very special, um, something I like to revisit a lot, man, because it's extremely powerful along with the three holy children, along with the story of the aged man, Eleazar, you know, so on and so on. It says, and over these three, <clears throat> and over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give accounts unto them, and the king should have no damage. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Then the presidents and the princes sought to find an occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, right? So you had these men conspire against Daniel, but they could not, they, but they could find none occasion nor fault. For as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him, right? The scriptures speak about being blameless, right? And, you know, we're, you know, we, that's how we live our lives, you know, uh, blameless, you know, to the best of our ability. It says, so so basically, they couldn't find nothing on them, so they had to create something. And Esau, more than likely, going to use the same tactics. You know, he ain't got nothing on us. You know, we live basic, 
uh, what people will consider boring lives. You know, we serve our God. We, we, we handle our business as men, take care of our families. And that's that, you know, so Esau is going to find something and he has to, he has to, um, you know, create a, create a lie to, uh, try to set us up. It says, it says, then said these men, we should not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God, because I knew that Daniel wouldn't go against the heavenly father. It says, then these presidents and princes assembled together to the king and said, thus unto, king, uh, unto him, King Darius, live forever. All the presidents of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the counselors and the captains have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for 30 days, save of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which alter, alter if not. Wherefore, King Darius signed the writing and the decree. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his windows being open in his chamber toward Jerusalem. He kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and he gave thanks before the heavenly father as he did a four time. So, so Daniel wasn't shook. And even if he was shook <clears throat> in his flesh, okay, his faith uh, overrided his, his flesh. All right. He went and prayed to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Okay. Which is an immediate act of faith. Okay. <clears throat> the one thing they tried to get him for <clears throat> is, you know, is, 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 was was his weapon, you know? Turn into Yahweh by Shemel Shai. The script said, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run up into it and it's safe. So what do you think we're going to be doing in an hour? Shit, what do we do every day? Now, we pray to Yahweh, our power Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Okay? So that's the that was the perfect move for Daniel. All right? To continue to pray, which they knew that he would do that. And they, they tried to, uh, you know, catch him up, set him up. It says, then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his power. Then they then they came near and spake before the king concerning the king's decree. Hast thou not signed a decree that every man that shall ask a petition of any god or man within 30 days, save of thee, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered and said, the, king is, uh, this, the thing is true according to the law of the Medes. And Persians, which alter if not. See, he didn't know. See, the king didn't know that they were setting up Daniel, though. It says, Then answered they and said before the king that Daniel, which is of the children of the captivity of Judah, regardeth thee, O regardeth not thee, O king, nor the decree that thou hast signed, but maketh his petition three times a day. <clears throat> then the king, when he heard these things, was sore displeased with himself and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. And he labored till the he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. Right? He didn't want to. Now he was hip to what these men were up to. You know, he was trying to get out of it. You know. <clears throat> then these men assembled unto the king. See, but the Lord had something else in mind. Right? The Lord wanted to show his power. All right. He wanted to show his power with uh, uh, with Daniel <clears throat> to where to where we could have this account today. Then these men assembled unto the king and said unto the king, Know, O king, that the law of the Medes and the Persians is that no decree nor statute which the king established may be changed. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Right? Imagine that. Thrown into the den of lions. Wow. Wow. It says, it says, now the king spake and said unto Daniel, thy God, whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. And I love that, you know, that God whom thou servest continually, man. All right. That's one thing that we do. We're continually serving our power. How about Shema Shah? We got to have confidence that the Lord is, uh, is with us, man. All right. <clears throat> it says, and a stone was brought and laid upon the mouth of, of the den. And the king sealed it with his own signet and with the signet of his lords, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. 
Then the king went to his palace and pressed or passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him, and he, his sleep went from him, right? Because he was concerned of Daniel. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste unto the den of lions, right? Which the Lord put the spirit on that king to, uh, you know, do so. So he could be delivered from that, that den of lions early. It says, <clears throat> and we got to know that too. When we are in these jams or when all, we are in our darkest hour, we have to trust in Yahweh. We have to trust that some way the Lord's going to deliver us. Right? You can only imagine what he's seen while he was in that den. You know, or his thoughts or, you know, of course, we know the angel came. It says that when he came to the den, he cried with a, a lament, lamentable voice unto Daniel. And, and the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living power, is thy God, whom thou servest, continually able to deliver thee from thy lions? Right? And the scriptures say what? I am the Lord. Is there anything anything too hard for me? Right? So that's not a hard thing to for the Lord to keep them lions away from Daniel. You know, because our power is in control of all. Right? It says, <clears throat> it says, and the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living power, is thy power whom thou servest continual, continually able to deliver thee from the lions? Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. And the fact that he's speaking is a, is a, is yes. <laughs> That's a yes. It says, my God have sent his angel and have shut the lion's mouths that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in me. And also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Right. So innocency was found uh, with Daniel. OK, innocency. OK. So we might be found guilty in the eyes of Esau. He don't want Jesus, the devil. He's the wicked. You know, his his decrees are unrighteous, right? Like this one was an unrighteous decree. Uh, you go to the three holy children where they're supposed to bow to us to statue. That's an unrighteous decree. You know, we're Israelites. We're only supposed to bow to our power. Yahweh by Shemal Shai. So we might be guilty in this world, right? Like the lyrics. <clears throat> it says... Uh, Yeah, these lyrics are all jacked up. But it basically says, though, though they find me guilty, you know, the Lord will prove my innocency. Okay? And, and the Lord proved Daniel's innocency in this case. Right? It says, uh, for as much before him, innocency was found in me. And also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then the king exceeding glad for him. Then was the king exceeding glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no manner of hurt was found upon him because he believed in his power. You know, and he goes on, the men that accused him, they were thrown in the den. But look how powerful this, this account is. Yahweh by Shemal Shai proved uh, Daniel's um, innocency. Okay. Now let's jump to, um, let's go here. <clears throat> this is first Maccabees 2 and 51 or 50. Now, therefore, my sons, be zealous for the law and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall you receive great honor in the everlasting name. Okay. So it's always, uh, a beautiful thing when you call to remembrance the things that happen aforetime, right? Now it goes from you know, starts with uh, Abraham, then it comes all the way down to Daniel. But let me start up here. It says 59 says, and Ananias, Azarias, and Mishael that's their um, their, their names, the three holy children. By believing, we're saved out of the flame, right? By believing. And it's all about faith at the end of the day. It says, Daniel, for his innocency, was delivered from the mouth of lions. 
And thus consider ye throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. You see? None that put their trust in Yahweh by Shemar Shai shall be overcome. So that's all we have to do. Uh, let me see. Let me do... Uh, this is... Um, History of Susanna. Say, uh, 1 and 60, it says, With all that, I mean, with that, all the assembly cried out with a loud voice and praised the Heavenly Father who saved them that trust in him. And they arose against the two elders, for Daniel had convicted them of false witness by their own mouth. And according to the law of Moses, they did unto them in such sort as they maliciously intended to do um, their neighbor. And they put them to death. Thus the innocent blood was saved the same day. Okay? Just wrapping it, wrapping that point up. That the innocent blood, um, you know, in this time being us, the Lord, Lord's will, the elect, you know, we're innocent in the sight of our power, Yahweh, by Shem outside. Okay? <clears throat> and, and ultimately, Esau, you've been found guilty in the courts of, of the Lord. You've been found guilty. Of touching the Lord's people, man. So, you know, we're not to fear of what he would do. The Lord told us, uh, you know, fear not the things which thou shalt suffer. You know, we'll be cast in the, in the prison, you know. But the Lord told us to be faithful um, to death. And he'll give us a crown of life. All right. So we're not to be fearful. Esau's to be fearful. But Lord's was edifying, you know, we're only guilty of serving our power, man. At the end of the day, we're only guilty of believing in our power. Yahweh by Shema Shai, return it back to our heritage, man. You know? So Lord's was edifying, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Shema Shai, by Shema Kakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.